start things off with a happy belated birthday there. I saw the Instagram post about the Dirty 30 finally coming. So a big shout out there. Thank you. But I wanted to follow up on another interesting post that I saw because you were saying that around like six some odd weeks ago, you had lost your job. But that same evening, you received the news you were fighting on Triller pay-per-view. Can you kind of talk about that whole timeline? Just, you know, things happening for a reason and all that? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, like I've, I've expressed and told everyone in, um, in professional boxing, you know, the money's never been good since I started my professional career. So I always held on a full-time job throughout my prof- professional career there's never been one fight where i haven't been working a full-time job and that's just due to the you know the city i lived in the area i lived in was very expensive being in the bay area um you know just to make ends meet um i ended up getting married ended up you know continuing my life as my career went on you know i've reached an age where i moved on with my life as well um and you know i just purchased a new home uh moved the family in the new home you know, we're settled in the new home. And then um, uh, one day at work, I received a notice from some of my supervisors. They came up to me, kind of handed me a piece of paper and said, you know, hey, you know, this is not from us. You know, we're being told we got to let you go. So this is, we're just the middleman. We're sending you the message. And at that moment, I was devastated. Um, you know, I just bought this new home. There was a lot of questions running in my head during that minute. Like, um, I did tear up. I cried a little bit because I was just wondering, like, what am I going to do? What's going to happen? Like, yeah, I have boxing, but I haven't had a fight in the past eight months. And I think that was a lot of the frustration, too, when all, when I got that message was like, you know, I'm not fighting because I haven't fought, you know. But I was in the gym every day. I've been in the gym every day, five to six days a week since i mean i haven't had time off but anyways long story short uh i got that notice and then 20 to 30 minutes later my manager peter khan sends a message in the group chat that we have with the whole team saying that we're fighting uh, the original date was june 5th we're fighting june 5th on triller so i didn't know if to believe it or not like obviously i was very happy but i was just like man like one door closes another one opens for me maybe this is it. Maybe this is what I've been missing is to be a full-time boxer for once and actually dedicate a hundred and, you know, 50%, even though I feel I've always had, maybe it's just that extra sleep, that extra rest, that extra focus. And um, it's just weird the way things happen, but yeah, going into this fight, it's, it just feels awesome knowing the way this opportunity was created and happened for me. Thanks for all the insights, man. I appreciate the time. No worries. Curious because earlier you were talking about some past struggles, getting that world title crack, politics of the game, being involved. I mean, you're part of an event now where, you know, successful purse bids were put out there for, I mean, not even just one undisputed title fight, but a pair of them. Like, is there any level of bolstered confidence you have affiliating yourself with Triller in as far as facilitating getting that world title crack? Oh, yeah. Well, I I know that, you know, and that's another thing, too, is I know in the back of my mind, winning this fight is just, it's it's not even about, you know, everyone says, oh, how do you feel fighting for the title? It's not really the title. It's not, it's not that. Like I tell people, I, I held the title for three years and that didn't do anything for me. I'm not really fighting to win a title. I'm not fighting for the title. I'm fighting to win the fight, the actual fight, because I know. I know winning this fight, I know what it's going to do for my career. So that's what's important to me is I know the people that are that I'm fighting on this platform. I know that winning this fight is going to give me the opportunity to fight for something bigger that I've never fought for. Um, and that's already written and that'll be left up to whoever's, you know, behind obviously the whole promotional. But I do, I do feel, look, that, that you know the purse bids that these fighters are getting um the purse that i'm getting um you know they don't want to bash anybody but it's the most i've ever gotten in my whole career my past promoter i mean there's even holding the title i didn't even see half of that so i mean then you realize why some of these fighters are doing these purse bid fights because 
they just want what's fair. Some of these fighters want what's fair. You know, we risk our lives on the line. I know we see a lot of boxing fights go to decisions, and it seems more like a sport. There's been a lot of people that died this past year in the sport of boxing and outside of boxing. So it's 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 not a game. It's a sport, but this sport of boxing is not a game. You know, it's it's sad how many fighters died inside the ring due to weight cuts, due to too many punches. It's like, man, these are young kids, 23 years old with the future. You know, one of them that um, stood out to me was the daughtership fight. Like, man, that guy used to fight on my undercards. Like, awesome fighter. Like, that was sad, you know, left behind his mother and kids. So it's just, it's just the things as, as us boxers, I think we start thinking about when we get older and get wiser and smarter, like, we're not going to fight for something like this. It, it has to be, it has to make sense. That's what it is. It has to make sense for the fighter at the level you're at. Um, and I just felt this was a, this fight made a lot of sense in every aspect for me. Uh, the opportunity wise, purse wise, it's like, man, like, why wouldn't I, why can't I, you know? Um, so I, I'm very hopeful and very positive that winning this fight, being with this, you know, fighting on Triller pay-per-view, having this exposure, I think it's definitely going to open that door for me. Yes. Absolutely, man. Thanks for the time and insights. No worries.